Washington State gave Stanford a battle in that second half, but Stanford holds on and wins at 71-49. Number six Stanford now, boy, they are 10-2 uh, and two in Pac-12 play, 13-2 and two overall. Greg Heister, Alyssa Charleston. Lexi Holt kind of set the tone for Stanford early in this game, kind of led the charge, kind of produced a hurricane that was all Stanford at the half. It kind of put on a clinic, shooting in all the ways, the jumper, cutting off the ball. She moves so well without the ball, and the Stanford offense thrived off that. She can score from three, was playing great defense, was a mismatched nightmare for the Cougs, and they did not have an answer for her 17 points for the junior. Kiana Williams, the senior for Stanford, and she, this is what she does, right? She makes winning plays, she hits big shots, bombs, she leads her team. Oh, find another year of eligibility for Kiana Williams, will you? Such an important player for Tara Vanderveer. She knows when to put it on, has the gas pedal. Whenever this team needs it, she provides from three, but she can also get to the rim. She was such an important player and such a great defender along with Anna Wilson tonight. Those two caused trouble for Washington State's guards. But Cameron Brink, one of the best players coming out of high school a year ago, ranked number three. Man, alive. she has already arrived for Stanford. What a player. Finds all the holes in the defense tonight. She had the size advantage everywhere, but she was sneaky behind that defense too. She was strong. We saw the three, 12 points, 14 rebounds, five blocks. Anytime a Washington State player came in the key, she felt like it was like rejecting it. She was just such a force down low. Huge game for her. And really the defense fueled the uh, the offense for Stanford tonight. Yeah, you know you've got a great player in her hands when you get a double-double, but she also was tied with Kiana Williams for five assists and she plays the five position. What a great player Cameron Brink already is. Gonna be great to watch her kind of progress here at Stanford throughout her career. Well, a great night in Pullman. Stanford wins at 71-49. They're now 10-2 in the Pac-12, 13-2 overall. These two teams will do it again on Friday at noon Pacific time here at the Beasley Coliseum. And then Stanford gets to go home for the first time. Like a bell cut.